Okay, so today's phonics worksheet page that we're working on today is page number 299. We are skipping page 297. You don't need to do page 297, okay? Today's page is page number 299. It looks just like this. The dog with a little, I guess, a cap on his head, wearing sunglasses. All right, that's the picture that's on today's worksheet page. And we're going to be working with contractions in the first sentence. Remember, contractions is when you join two words together to make it shorter. For example, I have would be I, or we um, will would be will. Can not would be can't, all right? So I wrote the first sentence on the board, but before that, let's read the instructions. The instructions say, rewrite the sentences making the words in the boxes contractions okay so on your paper the word will not is in the box i'm going to go ahead and do that the sentence says chloe will not be at school today now this isn't our chloe but if it is our chloe i hope our chloe is doing her schoolwork today not skipping out on i know she's not chloe's a good student but i'm going to go ahead and rewrite the sentence because it says rewrite so will not becomes what? What does we will not become? It becomes won't. You take will and not, it becomes won't. So ooh, lost my balance there. You're gonna rewrite the sentence like this. Won't be won't be at school. today. So first sentence, the first section is simple in that you're just taking the box, the box um, that has two words in it and joining them together to form contractions. So you would do the same thing with the next sentence where it says Dave and Hannah are not in class. You would just take the word, the words are not are in the box in that sentence. So you would just take them and join them together and for the word aren't so it'd be Dave and Hannah aren't in class okay so second sentence is write an adjective for each noun and then it says write an adverb for each verb so you're going to have to determine whether the word that is written there is a person place or thing or whether it is a word that shows action okay so let's go ahead and do the first two together I have them written here on the board First word's worm. Um, second one is fishing. <clears throat> okay, so taking a look at the first word, worm, is it a person, place, or thing, or does it show action? Well, worm is a thing, so let's think of an adjective because adjectives describe nouns. Let's think of an adjective to describe the word worm. Well, I'm going to use the grammar answers. The question is what kind and how many. I'm going to answer the question how many. I'm going to put five worms. Obviously, they have worm written there, but this for my, I'll be here right there. Five worms, plural. Five worms is, five is my adjective describing how many worms I have. Now, fishing, is it a person, place, a thing, or does it show action? Well, you can go fishing. I'm sure some of you guys in the class probably like to go fishing. You can go fishing. So let's see. Fishing how? Answer the question, fishing how? Let's, let's see. How about fishing quietly? You would do it quietly, right? You would want to do it quietly because you don't want to miss... I think you need to do it quietly. I don't know. I've never been fishing before. So I'm just going to put fishing quietly. So you can choose your own um, adjective or adverb to use to describe the nouns and verbs in section number two. So let's look down at the bottom at the page, um, at the bottom of the page for the dictation. Make sure you're doing your dictation. Okay. When you're turning in your worksheets, I want to be able to see your sentences on your worksheets. And if you have not yet done so, I don't I know how many times I have to repeat this. Put your name on your paper and please write in cursive, okay? Write in cursive and put your name on your paper. And most importantly, do not 
write with pen. I repeat, I repeat, do not write with pen. You should be writing with only pencil. Okay, so the first sentence is set the plate on the table. Set the plate on the table. Notice the sound all in little in that sentence. The second 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 sentence, I'll get my words right. Um, please close the window. Please close the window. Notice the sound O oh, in bowl in that sentence. And make sure you're putting proper punctuation and capitalization when you're writing down these sentences. Now, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I um, guess I'll be back here again tomorrow with tomorrow's lesson.